I have always been interested in what makes form form. Like how things that we see in the world become that way. Um, I guess that's what it means to be a radical and I proudly consider myself to be a radical because the, the root word of radical is rad, which is the same root as radish, and it means root. So a radical is someone who tries to get to the root of something or to uncover causes and not just um, be uh, content to live a superficial life or uh, wrapped up in, in symptoms. I was a librarian <laughs> for a short time at an esoteric library, the Theosophical Library in Seattle. And during that time, um, I read a lot of uh, Eastern uh, philosophy and uh, books on yoga. I read the Yoga Sutras because all of this was available in the library that I spent many, many hours in. And when I was a dance stu student at the University of Washington, I also started to take classes in um, Indian philosophy and Indian culture and studied Indian dance there and Indian music. And so this opened up a whole other world. I was a very uh, uh, spiritual, spiritually inclined uh, younger person. I was raised Catholic, but none of the other, uh, my other family members really embraced the religion, and I was the only one that went to church, and I walked there, and, you know, so I had this, this kind of uh, uh, spiritual uh, unrest or yearning always, and so one time I read Patanjali, in the Patanjali's Yoga Sutra, the first sutra says, Atta Yoga Nushashanam. And this is yoga. Now, Atta means now. And now this is yoga, as I have observed it in the natural world around me. That was like, oh my God. Because what he was saying was such a positive and optimistic way to begin this whole discourse of yoga. It was so optimistic and positive because it implied that any one of us could come to this yoga or this realization. Because yoga is really the realization of how we are all connected. It's the realization of the oneness of being. That is what is realized in the enlightened state. That is what all the practices of yoga are geared towards uh, experiencing. And so when he said that, implying that any one of us could experience this realization of the oneness of being, of the interconnectedness of all things and being, if we were willing to look deeper into things, if we were willing to go to the cause, the underlying cause, which basically answered my question about what makes form form, what brings things about.